Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice, welcome to my gaming channel Justice Gaming, I am in the game Far Cry New Dawn today, going to continue our storyline, in the last one we did a bunch of stuff with the highwaymen, uh, Rush died unfortunately, that sucked, but um, yeah, that's kind of the big thing there, he died, we went through a bunch of uh, puzzly missions, and so forth. Uh, it was kind of difficult that one, but I got through it eventually. So here's what I want to do in today's video. Uh, I'm going to spend maybe just an hour in today's video. It's not going to be as long as some of the past ones have been. And let's see, I think I want to do grinding today. I think this video is going to be all about grinding ethanol. I want to do more upgrades in my area here. There is this one. I need to get up to level two, which is the explosive lab. And then I want to upgrade the infirmary and the workbench to level three so I can finally get better weapons and I can upgrade weapons and I'll have a max health. Those kind of things are important to me. So uh, I want to get all that up there, but I'm going to need a ton of ethanol to do it. I've got 29. That ain't going to cut it. What I can do right now, though, is I think I can max out my perks. I have every perk there is. Uh, so earning perk points, not important for me anymore. I have... Oh, I guess there are a cut, some more. I didn't see these down here. Huh. Um, okay, well, I have all of these perks, but oh, there's more down here. Press while in midair for additional jump height. Oh, look at this, guys. I did not know these perks were down here. How did I not see these before? Am I that blind? Oh, and I can upgrade some of these. I am dumb. Apparently, I'm dumb and blind. Okay, so I just learned something. The little double arrow means this can be upgraded. It says upgrade cost. These can be upgraded, so I can upgrade more lung capacity, increases hold breath duration while sniping and while underwater. I was looking for that option. Well, there it is. Um, increases fist and kick damage. Increases carry amount for med kits. Increases carry amount for melee weapons. Increases carry amount for explosives, throwing knives, and bait. And increases ammo carry amount for all of that. And then heavy ammo. Oh my gosh, I did not even see these that you could upgrade these. That's news to me. Well, there we go. Perk points are important now. And I do want to upgrade these. And then there's even more here. Uh, leap of faith. So press spacebar in midair for additional jump height. Heck yes, I do want that. Ghost. Hold C to temporarily become much harder to detect by humans. Consumes Eden's gift. So Eden's Gift is something I'm not aware of? Is that like uh, Bliss or something? Wrath, hold Y to tempor temporarily increase speed, melee damage, reduce damage taken, and be immune to knockdowns. That's awesome also, but consumes Eden's Gift. Where do I get Eden's Gift? Now that's the question. Eden's Touch, takedowns, replenish Eden's Gift and health, and loot victims automatically. I want that. Ta I can do a bunch of takedowns and get Eden's Gift. I don't know where else I would get Eden's Gift. I don't know what it is. Eden's Gift increases the regeneration rate of Eden's Gift. So it's something that regenerates. I want those. Well, I've only got three right now, so I can upgrade one of these things. I mean, I want to upgrade everything, so might as well just... Let's upgrade lung capacity. I don't know. Increases fist and kick damage. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I'll use that a little bit more. Oh, upgrade cost four. Upgrade cost three. Okay. Well, I'll need four. Then we'll upgrade this one. So you can keep upgrading it. Oh, it's like that's not just one upgrade. It's like multiple upgrades. Increases hold breath duration while sniping and while underwater. And increases sprint duration. And I sprint a lot. 
So that's important for me there. Okay, so I do I do need more perk, more perk points. But now my question is, what the heck is Eden's gift, and where do I get that? Okay, well, I just learned a whole bunch of new stuff I didn't even realize. We're all shaken up by the loss of Rush, but we can't let up. As much as I hated the idea of talking to Joseph, I have to admit that having new Eden attack the Highwaymen has given us a chance to blindside them. When do you meet some crazy little fucker named Irwin? Like, he's as close to the twins as he claims. It might be our way in. Uh, so we've got another mission on us through the ringer completed Slick, you come find me near the old prison I got wheels in motion you're gonna want to get behind and a new story mission called inside job difficulty level three we're up to level three missions now um, but like I said, I, I do want to spend today grinding. Today is going to be a grinding video, so that's the way it's going to be, because I, I do want to upgrade all these things. That's a goal. And then I need to find Eden's gift. That's going to be a thing I've, I'm going to have to do now. I've got to figure out what Eden's gift is. I don't even know. Let's call in a roster person to help us here, and who would best help us? You know, Carmina's pretty good. She's got a good weapon for the sort of thing I'll be doing. She's an assaulter. He's a berserker. Hunter. I don't need a hunter right now. Heavy gunner would be nice. She's a sniper. And he's RPG. They each have their own things, right? A tank and a scout. So who do I want to help me? Honestly, I think I want Carmina. We'll use her right now for this. And if I can change up if I need to. Alright. Let's scavenge this outpost we're just gonna do the second level scavenge on each one unless I need to do the final one because this gets real difficult and I really need to take down the I see two I see two uh, alarms. So definitely want to take out the alarms. That's going to be a little difficult because they're on the opposite ends here. There's a guy up there with a launcher. Will fuck up any vehicle they fire on. Oh man, those are inside the outpost too. Those alarms are like gonna be nigh impossible to get to. I could get to one, but I can't get to the other because look where they are. They're inside the base. And I can't sneak up on this guy. He'll see me instantly. And then there's this those person. This is going to be a little difficult just because of where the um, antennas are at, the alarms are at. They're in very precarious positions. Am I going to be seen? Probably. Do I care? Not as much. Like, I can get to this alarm. Oh, I can get to both alarms. 
take out this alarm, and then I'm going to take out that alarm, and then I'm going to run. Wow, I haven't been noticed. That's actually alarming. <laughs> Carmina's going to get us noticed. She's running right into where everybody's at. I might want to do this without a people, without people. See, she got us noticed. Alright, I got it with no alarms. That wasn't too bad. Once I got inside and found out where the alarms were, that was doable. But I'm not doing it a third time. Holy crap, that third time we know is so difficult. I got a lot, I get, you still get a lot of ethanol for the second time. So I got 329 now. I can go ahead and make this purchase. Uh, this will be remote explosives and fire ammo crafting. Okay, so that's now upgraded in our base. Uh, everything is now level two and prosperity is level three. So we're good on all that. Next thing, I want to upgrade the infirmary and my um, workbench. And they need 700 each. So that's quite a bit. But I think by liberate or by doing the level two on the other outpost, I should be able to get enough for that. Not dying. Not yet. Yeah, Carmina kind of got us noticed a little earlier than I wanted. I might do these solo. I'll go ahead and uh, disband her for the moment. Take care of yourself. I think I might do the other one solo, so I don't get noticed as quickly. Enough. All right, let's go do another one now. I don't care which one next. Let's do the refinery. We're going to end up doing all of them anyway. Alright, I'm by myself. 
I see an antenna up there, and I see the other one over there. They've taken back the refinery. They distill ethanol there, so there should be plenty for the taking. Watch for alarms. It'll bring an enforcer. Okie dokie, this one's gonna be rough. That one's on the roof, so that's difficult. That one's not on the roof, so that's difficult. And I, see, I saw somebody through there. All right, my plan so far is to climb up to the top and get the top one. And then jump down to the bottom, get the bottom one, and then run away like a crazy man. If I can get up there, that is. I don't see a clear way up. Can I take this person out without getting noticed? There's a person up there. Crap. Oh, there's a ramp up there. So if I go this way, I should be able to get up. I love drinking ethanol. Makes me feel like a car. Yeah. Oh, right. I don't recommend drinking alpha, al alcohol, ethanol. I almost got noticed just now. Oh, I thought this was the antenna. This is the antenna. How do I take it out? Oh, is it below me? This is tedious. I know I'm kind of quiet, not talking much. This is tedious. I'm in here. Where's the antenna at? I'm having trouble. A lot of a lot of trouble finding out where this antenna is at. Those guys are gonna so see me. Is the freaking antenna? There it is. Thing I 
I'm good. Oh, you think I can ghost this? Guess not. Close enough though, got no alarms. There it is. I was noticed, but I got no alarms. So that's what I needed. Oh, I was undetected. I was undetected. And of course I got no alarms. So I got a good bonus on that one. Good, that's what I needed. Yeah, not not scavenging again. That was pretty hard. I just don't have the patience for it. <laughs> I just don't have the patience. Alright, I got 379 ethanol. Alright, let's do another one. I'm going to end up having to do every one of them twice over and more, probably. <sighs> like I said, this video is all about grinding. I need that ethanol. I want to upgrade the workbench. I want to upgrade the infirmary before we do anything else. And it is better that I do it by myself so I don't get noticed as easily. I see one alarm and is that the other one? I'm guessing maybe it is. This is going to be difficult. Take it nice and easy. Let's go around. Let's do a go around. I hear people talking. Shoot, they're like right there. They're everywhere. Okay, well I see that alarm and now I see that alarm. Look, this person's looking right at me like I cannot move. <laughs> if I move, I'm spotted. I was going to try to take them out from behind, but they're walking into uh, other people. 
Shoot, how do they not see me? I gotta go for it. Quiet, everything good? Any problems? I think there's a person up there that could be a problem. One alarm. Okay, I'm gonna make it. Right there. I want to get this person up here. Is this like the last person or is there more? I hear people talking so it might not be. Problem is I don't know where the other ones are. What kind I, of scabs make a radio tower look like this? No, there's definitely there's definitely people below me. Somewhere. I hear him, I just don't see him. That's weird. Above me. Can't get him yet till he climbs down. <laughs> Dang it, there was somebody right beside him. Well, I'm detected. I almost had it not detected. There was a, a guy right beside him. Dang it, that there was one guy right beside him. I should have looked in and peeked first before going straight for him. Oh well, I was detected, but I got no alarms.
glad you got eaten on our side. All right, I have 679. I almost have enough ethanol for another upgrade. So let's do another outpost. Wouldn't yeah. trust Joseph if I were you. Okay, let's do another outpost. Here we go. Wish me luck. This should allow me to upgrade the infirmary next, and then after that we'll do the weapons workbench. Because that'll max out my health with the infirmary. Maybe make these a little easier. Especially if I choose to do the level 3 takeover. It's been taken back by the highwaymen and restocked with ethanol. They'll call an enforcer at the first sign of trouble, so watch yourself. See, that one way over there. Getting to that's going to be difficult because it's on the opposite side that I need. And this one's right here. I can get to this one. So I can disable this one and then I'm going to work my way over to the other one. And we got a guy right there. That's going to be a problem. And we got this guy here and that's going to be another problem. He's looking right at me, and he's looking toward him. If they turn their backs, I could maybe walk up and do a takedown. So tempting to shoot him, but... But no, that's too dangerous. And this guy's now looking at me, and this guy's behind a barrel. Okay, I think we can get up there. Oh, we can't jump up there? Okay, good. I was like, oh, it's not going to let me jump up there. But it did. If I have to die, I'm going to make sure I die last. Thanks. I always want to know person right there all right I'm gonna jump back down uh, he's coming he's coming here we'll go back in the trees Maybe if I work my way around to the other side of the building. Shoot, I was almost detected just now. I'm going to slowly, quietly walk up the... T what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk all the way around. Instead of walking right through them all. I'm going to walk to the other side. If I keep my distance, they shouldn't see me. Oh, there it is. There it is. I don't think I could make this shot. Oh, this is a cliff. There's so many of them. Alright, I can take this out. 
but not quietly. All right, I'm just gonna let it fly. gonna feed me my own face I don't want that Alright, got it. I was detected, but no alarms. That's the important part. Now let's do that upgrade. Infirmary, 100% infirmary, three of three, I've got 250% health, heck yeah. Now I just need a couple more outposts and I should be able to get the weapons workbench upgraded. The highwaymen have to go. I love, love having that max health. Joseph and I got two perk points. Me. I need to use more explosives. I mean, I really should. I really don't use a lot. I now have remote explosives too. Right, so we have some perks as well. Two perk points, not enough to get anything. You got a lot of trust to go to New Eden for help. God, it was so hard to throw anything for years. We're just full of work today. So I now have 200, or what is it? How much health? I have 250% health. So I'm at the max health for my character, and that's good for me for my playstyle. We need to do another outpost. Let's just do this one, Say Sacred Lumber. This one's kind of a crazy, hilly outpost. And yeah, it is better that I do these alone. Definitely working out better doing these alone. Without somebody on my roster because that um, means I can sneak up a little more. Enforcer. 
Who is almost seeing me? Okay, I see the two antenna. They're kind of in the middle. In the side. Close to... Oh, there's somebody seeing me. This tree. I'm getting a f hung up on that tree. Dang, they got a good sight on me. I'm at a terrible angle. I'm maybe come around then from the other side because they are they got a good view on me from right there. Too good of a view. It's really this person here and that person over there. Oh man. That person's gonna be hard to take out. Shoot, man. An arrow would be pretty silent, but I don't have an arrow. Darn it, there's another guy right there, too. I think I could get him without making noise. Make sure it hits hard. I'm going to take that as a yes. Alright, I want to take this guy out. He's going to be a problem if I don't. This is where a sniper rifle would come in handy, but I don't have a sniper rifle. Boy, it's so hard to get close to this guy. This is... this distance is too far. Almost detected. I heard a whoa. Ultimately got him though. That's going to help me. Those two lookouts. I hear gunfire, but I don't think that's on me. Ah, oh, shoot, man. No, I don't want to go up. Don't want to go up. Shoot, man. They are swarming all over these um, antennas. Maybe if I take this one out, I can rush over to the other one. Okay, I just need one more to take out, and I don't care if I get noticed. Just as long as I take the alarm out.
It's freaking on the other side of the map. I'm getting noticed, I'm getting noticed. This is so tricky. Shoot, man, shoot, dang. All right, I'm good. Okay, I got it. No alarms. Got my ethanol. Still not enough ethanol. Need 700, but I think another outpost ought to do it. Okay, let's do another outpost. Uh, let's do... That's the uh, main mission. Let's do this one, Trailer Town. Let's do that. Don't let your guard down out there. Let me just look around this one and see what it's like. Okay, we've got cliffs. Okay, this one. This one is the one that's on a cliff, okay. All right, stay nearby. Let's take it over again. Whoa, immediately I hear gunfire. It's never a good sign. They're on opposite ends of each other, the uh, antennas, the alarms. Oh yeah, there's a shooting range here, I forgot about that. That's why I'm hearing gunfire. Don't attack me. Ah, 
had no choice he was going to see me but at least that was quiet this one is right out in the open Darn it, I'm detected. Alright, I wasn't careful with that. I was not careful with that one. I Railed it up. Darn it, I was detected on that one. Did not intend for that to happen. I was just not very careful. Frailed that right up. I was getting a little cocky. Should have taken my time, but I did not. And I failed. Sounds like you shook up Eden's leadership. Well, I do at least have enough now to do the uh, workbench. Now I can craft elite weapons. So hooray for that. I do want to get these others to level three when I can. They're not as important, but when I can, these were the three, definitely the workbench that I wanted. So now I can craft elite weapons. All we can do is move forward. Okay, it's elite crafting time. You know I've got to do it. Hold on, let me uh, trade any loot. No, no loot. Okay, let's see. Let's do some elite weapon crafting. How about that? Well, you know I'm going for the assault rifle because uh, that's my favorite thing. What do I have right now? What is it called? called an assault rifle stealth so we're just getting the latest assault rifle stealth the works bp2 assault rifle stealth this assault rifle needed modifications out the yin yang but the final product is a thing of beauty i'm doing it i've got a ton of resources 
craft this sucker. Heck yeah. I mean, I'm so excited about that. You guys don't even know. A light machine gun. What am I what am I using now? So I am using a light machine gun. I guess we'll do the same for right now. Light machine gun. Let's do it. It's a handgun that I want. Oh, I need more circuit boards. You know what I'm going to have to do for that? I'm going to have to get um, some more of those expeditions done to get those circuit boards because I definitely want this part of the Blood Dragon theme. I want that. Um, and this also, I need more parts for. Got a flamethrower. Never really been, been, you know, wanting to use a flamethrower or a saw launcher. I guess that's all for now that I can do. Now, can't I upgrade weapons now, too? Question is, how? Upgrade. Okay, so each time you upgrade it, it increases its damage by 5%. But it needs a lot of materials. It's going to use all my circuit boards to do it. And I just got it, so I don't think I really need to at the moment. But I think I will in the future. Does that make sense? I need more craft. I need more materials, really. I'm still going to have to do more grinding. I'm excited though that I now have these weapons. The ones I had before, of course. I've got single shot, full auto, and interruptible burst. I'll do single shot for now. I've got rifle ammo and piercing ammo. So I can select between all that. And for you, I've got LMG ammo. I have piercing ammo and incendiary ammo. That could be a whole lot of fun. Oh, that's quiet. I want to do another outpost just because I got these new weapons. And I need to, I need to, uh, actually, instead of an outpost, here's what we'll do. Because I need circuit boards. Uh, let's do a expedition. I still have a level difficulty one. ISS crash site. I did say I wanted to spend a little time looking at that. And uh, doing that. So this is going to be a little bit longer than an hour video, I guess. I'm going to do an expedition because I need those circuit boards. I need the uh, parts from this. And I ultimately, I do need to do more outpost grinding too because I do need more ethanol. But at least now we're at a place where we have a pretty good loadout. Whoa, I think we're here. Space mess everywhere. It looks like a pizza gets <laughs> I'm 
So I'll look at my perks. I only have two perks. I gotta go way up there. What a cool location. I've never really fully explored these locations that it sends us to. I may explore this one a little more than I normally do. I have no idea where this is leading me, but it looks like a secret place. Wow, okay, yeah, way around. I'm inside. There's like nothing here which I like. People, I mean. Take that back. Well, that did was not doing any damage. Shoot, really? Well, I frailed that up. Oh, it's way over here. Well, I wanted to spend more time in this area, but I think I just screwed myself. I'm trying to get in this vehicle. The highwaymen are going to keep sending reinforcements, so let's not waste time and get out of here as soon as possible. Well, I wanted to spend more time, but I screwed it up. I'm gonna hide in here. <laughs> oh, I like that. I see him! They got the package! Go, go, go! 
Well, I wanted to spend a little more time searching that area, but I alerted them and frailed that up, and that's the end of that. Had to rush, had to hurry. But hey, we got a bunch of components and things hey, we needed. I got another job for you. There's a nuclear power plant not far from here. It's pretty intact. If you want my opinion, it could be worth the trip. Power plants have tons of materials we can use and repurpose. Thing is, the highwaymen have the same idea. They've been seen at the site, so if we're gonna do this, we got to be extra careful. Good thing me and La Grosse Patate are always up for a challenge. So, if you wanna go, you tell me when you're ready and we go. It's that simple. According to my intel, this is the prettiest settlement for miles and miles. This is gonna make things better. Nuclear plant sounds interesting and it is a level one. I got 15 circuit boards now. You got me even on our side. Let's see if I can uh, get something else here. Oh no, I need more circuit boards. I need more expeditions. Let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and do this one. It's just a level one, so let's do it. Uh, what am I looking for? Journal. Journal. journal, journal, journal. Let's go expeditions. Let's do the walking horse nuclear plant. This will be the last one we do for today's video. That'll be a lot of grinding we got done. I, ultimately, I need to do more outposts though. I'm going to need more ethanol. I'm still going to have to do more outposts. But I have done a lot in this video, so we made, pro we made progress. I think I'm gonna rush this one like I did the last one. I'm I'm not even gonna try to be stealthy. I'm I'm just gonna go in and get it and run out. <laughs> I mean literally. Again, beautiful graphics, beautiful scenery. I like what I'm seeing here in Far Cry New Dawn. So yeah, we're gonna rush in, rush out, and well, uh, maybe we won't rush in so much because I would do I do need to find the package because it looks like it's gonna be one of those where it's hidden in a room or something hard to find but I do want to rush out that's what I'll do let's try not to get detected I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit harder to find this package I hear it beeping. There's that same noise again. That's the same sound as before. You think it's below me? I think I might actually do want to increase my damage. I think I do want to increase my damage on this thing. It's nice, but I feel like I need a little bit more damage. Got it. That's it. Hang on. I'll tell you where to go. Okay, 
okay, uh, l l let's meet up. There there's a tower just on, on the other side of uh, uh, a, a tower, shit. Uh, sorry, my, my English, sometimes I can't think. Uh, go to the further tower. <laughs> Like I said, I'm just going to book it. I'm beeping. <laughs> I am beeping. All right, this is where we got to protect. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Oh, there's nobody here. Nobody's coming at me. There they are. They're coming. They're just taking a little time. Chopper is coming. I'm here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I see you, motherfucker. You're gonna die now. Okay, buckle up. Ah, we made it. Okay, that gives us some uh, some much needed materials. I just want to say thanks for uh, believing in me and my like, host that. Oh, he's got nothing new for us this time, huh? If I stayed put when the world went to shit, I wouldn't have survived. Once the harsh winter came, I, I knew I had to move around. I'm glad I end up here. These people, they're good people. I do love the expedition locations. So it looks like you get like a level two, you get an upgraded chance to like grind them more. Let me just look real quick. So yeah, now you can do a level two difficulty nuclear plant. Neville 2 difficulty, ISS crash, government plane wreck, Alcatraz, five stars theme park, Navajo bridge, and the boat. So we've done all of the expeditions once. And then basically you can grind level 2 and level 3 difficulty. I imagine that was going to get increasingly difficult though. I don't think it's necessary that I do that right now though. But at least now I know that's there and I can do that if I need more things. And I'm going to go ahead and get the... This one down here. Oh wait, I need what? What is this? I don't know what this material is. Materials required and it says 
there was zero of what is this though? Is that a buffalo? Do I need a buffalo? I could craft one of these instead. It doesn't require as much. It doesn't need the buffalo. It needs carbon fiber, and I have carbon fiber. Oh, I get it. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's one. that one's better anyway. And then I could upgrade... A sniper rifle. There we go. Now I'm out of materials again, but hey, got more damage on that. I wanted to try that anyway and see what would happen. Alright, so now I definitely need to get more materials. Alright, it is obvious that I definitely need... I'm out of uh, ethanol and materials again because I just used them upgrading stuff. But I definitely need more materials and I need to take over more outposts again twice over. There's still several that I need to do here for more ethanol. Three of them actually. For ethanol. And I may do that in the next video, uh, but before I do that, I think I'm going to do the main storyline mission. We have inside job, infiltrate the highwayman bullet farm to gain intel. That's kind of a tough one, level 3 difficulty, but I may do that in the next video. And then do those other three outposts to get more materials and maybe, maybe an expedition or two. Uh, and we'll try the level 2 difficulty. Just to get more materials, because that's apparently what I need now. It's more, lots more materials. Never enough materials. Now there is something else I could do that I've thought about, just because I want to get through the game kind of quicker. There is something else I could do. Um, where do I go for this? Go to the weapons workbench. I can buy materials. Crafting material packs. Like, I can buy these with C. I could afford the small crafting pack. But I could actually get these, buy more C, I guess, and get buy these and then have large packs. Then I don't have to do the expeditions. I think I'm still going to need ethanol, though. I'm still going to have to do the grinding of the outpost. But at least I won't have to do expeditions. If I buy these packs. Anyway, I, ha I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. Um, I might do it just so I can get through the game. Right now, I'm 66% of the main storyline through the game. And uh, so I guess we're get edging ever so closer to the end. So we'll be there before you know it. Uh, this place is looking great. This is level 3 healing garden. I just wanted to look at the changes made, and that looks really cool. And then I also have the level 3 workbench now, so it's fully upgraded as well. So that's nice. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think that's it for today. I did a lot of grinding, got a lot of materials, upgraded many things, found out that there's new perks I wasn't aware of. Oh, I've got 12 available points now. Okay, we can upgrade some of this stuff, and I don't even know what I need should upgrade, but I know I want to. I don't know what Eden's gift is, and I don't know how to get it, but if I can regenerate it faster that could be cool take downs replenish Eden's gift and health and loot victims these all sound really good I don't really need more med kits or melee weapons more ammo would be nice 
more fist damage maybe I don't know man I don't know where to go here there's so many good things that I want additional jump height maybe I don't know this kind of sounds good because that would regenerate my Eden's gift faster for my more abilities when I get them I guess doing the uh, expeditions give me perk points so that's a good reason for doing more expeditions. Oh wow, there's all kinds of upgrade paths I can go here right now and I don't know where to go. Hmm. I'm gonna get this one. That way my Eden's Gift will replenish faster and now I can get another ability and it should allow me to use it more often. I have four available right now. I'm gonna wait, maybe get more and then spend it. I need to figure out how to get Eden's gift though. Mr. Rye, I have a really, really very important question for you. I'm afraid of where this is going. All the adults get to play with guns and cars and stuff, but I'm not allowed. Mom says it's dangerous. But then nobody should get to play with them. All right. Well, I'm going to call that for today's video. We did a lot here, and I guess I'd need to do a lot more for materials, Thank honestly. Is growing faster than a goat. And I might end up having to do that third round of outposts, the uh, level three outpost scavenge, just simply because I need that ethanol. And that's the way to get it. Darn. That level three outpost takeover is extremely difficult. Maybe if I got ghost, maybe if I got that perk called ghost, I could walk up to the um, antennas or the alarms without being noticed and take them out. That's an idea. That's an idea. Okay, well anyway. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you see here, consider subscribing and giving the video a like. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.